Welcome to this demonstration of the Attention Trip, a game-like tool for exploring the networks of attention. Developed in the Klein Laboratory and first presented at the 2011 meeting of the Canadian Multidisciplinary Road Safety Conference in Halifax, the Attention Trip game or task evolved from an earlier version called the Simon Ship, which was designed to measure the Simon effect, uh, discovered uh, by Dick Simon in the 1960s. An update on our development of this tool was later presented at a meeting of the Society for Neuroscience. The purpose of this YouTube video is to complement a manuscript my colleagues and I have submitted for publication and to allow prospective researchers to see what the task is like and how it can be used to assess the networks of attention as advanced by Michael Posner and his colleagues at the Sackler Institute for Developmental Psychobiology, where the original atten attention network test was developed. The attention trip is described partici to participants in one of two scenarios, steering a miniaturized medical vehicle through a blood vessel, as in the classic film The Fantastic Voyage, or steering a spaceship through a wormhole. In either scenario, the participant must acquire blue and green targets by pressing response buttons positioned on the front or back of the steering wheel using the thumbs or fingers of their left and right hands, respectively. The key measures of performance are speed and accuracy of these responses. Control over all the parameters mentioned here, including the nature of the feedback provided to the participant, is accomplished via the stimulus file. As you will see in the following example, we will not be providing reaction time feedback, but accuracy feedback will be provided by the blue and green health indicators presented on the left and right sides of the screen. When the participant makes a wrong response or does not respond within an experimenter set window, there is a decrease in the missed targets indicator. Correct responses cause increases in health. The amounts of these increases and decreases are experimenter controlled. Whether or not these indicator bars are implemented, incorrect responses and misses cause damage to the ship, which recovers slowly from correct responses. If the ship suffers too much damage or if an indicator goes to zero, the ship is destroyed and the game ends in failure. Targets are presented at any one of eight locations on an imaginary circle around the vehicle. The original Simon ship task was designed to measure the Simon effect, a widely studied stimulus response congruency effect in which the speed and accuracy of responding to targets is affected by the correspondence between the spatial location of the responding effector and the task irrelevant location of the target. Allowing this task to also measure the components of attention as in the various versions of the attention network test, in the attention trip we added the possibility of congruent or incongruent flanking distractors around the targets and the possibility of visual cues and auditory warning signals before the targets. There is experimenter control over the timing of these signals relative to the target and of the locations of the visual cues and targets. In this run through the task, the visual cues are white triangles that are 100% informative about the upcoming location of the target. Increasing engagement of this task, the path can deviate from straight ahead, requiring the participant to turn the steering wheel toward a particular angle away from horizontal. Until the desired angle is approximated by the steering wheel, the participant hears a raspy sound meant to signal friction with the wall of the wormhole or blood vessel. The sound continues and no pre-programmed events will occur until the participant achieves the desired angle. In this version of the attention trip, with its 100% informative pre-cues, in addition to the Simon effect, attention network scores are measured as follows. Alerting is measured as the difference in performance for targets preceded by warning sounds compared to targets without any warnings. Orienting is measured as the difference in performance for targets presented at the queued location compared to targets without a queue. 
in the 100% condition illustrated by this example. And executive control is measured as the difference in performance for targets with congruent as compared to incongruent distractors, which is often called the flanker effect. In concluding, let me thank Michael Posner for teaching me about attention and how to use mental chronometry to explore cognitive processes, and for his development of the original attention network test, for his landmark contributions to our understanding of how the mind develops during childhood, is encoded in our genetics, is tuned by experience, and is implemented by the brain. Thanks for listening, and I'm looking forward to hearing from interested scholars.